DIY Brass Guy here with the three B's of brass playing. Number one, breathing. Don't breathe from your chest. Think of your lungs as more of a filter than the thing that actually takes in the air. The stomach is the real warehouse where that'll store as much air as you can put in there. So you wanna breathe from the bottom up. Start down here and let go upward. Your chest might rise a little bit naturally, but that's not where your focus needs to be. Think of taking the first drop of air that comes into your mouth down here to your belt buckle and then filling up from the bottom up just like a pitcher fills up with water. Uh, the second part of this is the open throat uh, that you've got to have to make a big corridor for the air to come in. So if you'll think of saying ho backwards, okay, that'll really open up the back of your throat. Or if you'll think of swallowing a grapefruit or a, an orange or something, where how, how wide would you try to get your throat to swallow something like that? That's the idea. That's what we're going for. You have to get that openness here to get it down here quickly because during a piece of music, you're not going to have a lot of time to take in a deep breath and you want as much air as you can as fast as you can get it. You'll know you're doing it right when you feel the cold air on the back of your throat. If you want to try putting a couple of fingers in your mouth and breathing in around them, you'll get that feeling. The second B of brass playing is blowing. Do not hold the air after you've breathed it in. Turn it around immediately. Think of the air as coming in, doing a quick U-turn and getting right back out. When you hold the air in, it creates tension, which you do not want any tension in your breathing, your blowing, anything to do with brass playing. You want everything to be as relaxed and natural as you can. Uh, if you have the, the tension from holding the air in, you'll crack pitches, you'll hit the wrong partials, it's not good, it creates a lot of problems you don't need. Don't just let the air flow out naturally as you go to exhale, it's not like that. You need to push it out using your stomach muscles. Now don't get hung up on which muscles and where and all that, just try to blow a fast, powerful airstream through your embouchure. Imagine you're blowing out a candle that's 20 feet away, okay? Give it a try. Feel that pushing with those stomach muscles? That's what it should feel like all the time when you're playing a brass instrument. The third B of brass playing is buzzing. Make sure your lips are touching as you buzz. They aren't separated like this. The lips are together and the air busts a hole through them and that's what creates vibrations. Make sure your chin is flat, your lips are stretched across your teeth and your corners are pulled back. Your lips shouldn't be firm or flexed. They're just stretched because the corners of your mouth are pulling them back. It's like pitching a tent and staking down the corners of the tent. The tent itself is not firm. It's soft. You can fold it up. But when you run the, the rope through it and you pull it, the tent holds its shape. And it's the same concept for the corners of your mouth being the, the stakes that hold it down. And your lips are actually soft. Just They're just stretched. So you get the chin flat, the lips stretched across, the teeth, the corners pulled back. Put that mouthpiece on there. Give it a deep breath. The larger your instrument, the further apart your teeth will need to be. So trumpet and horn players, maybe just a half inch between your teeth. While trombone players, euphonium players, you need about an inch. You need to try to get them get them far apart, drop that jaw, and then stretch the teeth, the lips across the teeth. And uh, tuba players, bass trombone players, as far apart as you can manage to get your teeth, that's what you wanna do. Because th again, this creates the corridor for the air to go out. And the larger instruments, you need massive amounts of air. And then the smaller instruments, you need a faster jet stream of air. So if your teeth are a little closer together, it creates a skinnier, uh, corridor and that let, helps the air go faster. It's like the Bernoulli effect, like when you put your thumb over the garden hose and it makes it go makes it go further. It's the same thing happens with the air. So those are the three B's of brass playing. I've got several other videos to help with other aspects of playing, like articulation, lip slurs, changing positions, and fingerings. So if you'll subscribe, I'll let you know when new videos come out and I'd love to hear what videos you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos. Good luck and remember, everyone can make great music.